the front line. Kurd Peshmerga focused on their next target, Mosul, the biggest city held by the so-called Islamic State. A final assault involving the Kurds, Iraqi forces and sectarian militias is imminent. But on the eve of battle, divisions threaten the whole campaign. The Kurds, who have extended their control over more of Iraq during the fight against ISIS, now say they are going to keep it. The head of the Kurdish government's National Security Council announced their intentions to Sky News. All the areas that now Peshmergas are controlling, we uh, believe is part of Kurdistan and uh, there is no reason for, for the Peshmergas to leave those areas. We've made it right and we're going to defend it. So you're not going to move? Absolutely not. Such territorial ambitions, while the Kurds press yet closer to Mosul, undermine the delicate planning for the main battle, which he admitted would be tough. I think it's going to be a difficult uh, war in Mosul. Based on the information that we have, they're preparing to fight very fiercely inside the city. They are digging tunnels. They are preparing themselves to fight. That may be an understatement. This is what is left of small villages liberated during the shaping operations for Mosul, and that's a city of 1.5 million. There is some relief for those who survived the cult's occupation. Life was tough. We wouldn't leave the house. I used to work with the Iraqi security forces. I'd leave the house just once in the month, and if I was driving around, they'd catch me. I was imprisoned three times. The moment they saw you, they'd take you and put you in jail. Life was really tough. It was much better for those who left than who stayed. ISIS leaves nothing behind and torches oil fields as it flees. As the so-called Islamic State is beaten back from towns like this, it's employing, quite literally, a scorched earth policy. Now, the problem for those going on to attack Mosul is what is waiting for them there. The Islamic State is trying to weaponize refugees. More than 40,000 have fled the liberated villages into the arms of the Peshmerga and the Kurdish regional government areas of Iraq. They didn't let us leave our homes. We couldn't drive. We couldn't buy clothes. We couldn't go to hospital. They'd make us cover ourselves and wear gloves. If someone asked for their salary, they'd kill him or hang him from the electricity pole. There are fears that this river of refugees could turn into a tidal wave of a million from Mosul. That would overwhelm the city's liberators and end hope that victory will lead to freedom, at least for a generation. Sam Kiley, Sky News, Erbil.